Hey guys, welcome back, and I am sorry I missed you last week. I've been so busy with large custom orders, walkthroughs for my August weddings, and just taking a little time for myself and enjoying the 4th of July. Um, I do have a giveaway coming up, so make sure to subscribe for more info on that. So your local plastic store can certainly add uh, these holes into the acrylic for you, um, but they do charge. My place charges like $2.50, a piece um, and when I'm working with a $10 piece of acrylic an additional $5 can really add up so I figured out a way how to do it myself so the first thing we are going to need is some safety goggles here's the piece of acrylic that we are using it is an 18 by 24 inch uh, eighth inch clear acrylic it's from my local plastic store Along with my cordless power drill, I use a Ryobi, and then this is a step drill bit. Um, this is actually the packaging that it came in. This is the easiest way that I can figure out how to get clean holes in my acrylic. Um, so the number one step drill bit, this is a Milwaukee. And you are going to need a clamp and something to hold your acrylic down onto to avoid any blowout. Okay, so first I want to mark where I want my holes. I usually do an inch to an inch and a half out from each corner, um, just depending on how large the sheet is. For the 18 by 24, I do about an inch. So I'm going to measure an inch out. Mark a straight line, measure an inch out this way. So this is where my first hole is going to be. And then I'm going to do the same for my second hole here. Perfect. And then where that X is, is where our hole is going to be. I have used a regular drill bit for this. Uh, you're definitely gonna get some blowout or cracking around the holes. Um, and when you're working with clear acrylic and frosted acrylics and stuff like that, um, it almost like highlights it whenever you get a crack in it. So I love using this drill bit. It was like 20 bucks from Home Depot. Um, but you can see here, it basically starts uh, drilling a tiny little hole, and then as you go down, it will gradually make it bigger and bigger. It has hash marks here. So as I'm drilling, I'm gonna be able to see exactly or about how far down that I've gone. Um, so for these holes, I make them a quarter inch. So if you can see that quarter inch mark there is actually that first hash mark on the side. So this goes from eighth inch down to a half inch. Uh, this was the smaller one, but they do have um, ones that create bigger holes if needed. So when you're working with acrylic pieces, you are going to want the entire underneath um, around where you are drilling onto a hard surface that you can drill into. And this will help with the blowout and obviously to protect your work surface. And I'm just clamping that down so it is pretty sturdy. So for this, I usually start um, kind of slow and then as I work my way down, I will speed it up a little bit and put it right on that hash mark there. And I usually have this set up opposite with the um, clamp on the left so I can drill with my right hand on the right. But since I'm filming, I'm gonna do it a little bit opposite just so you guys can see. Once again, I'm just going to start it out slow and then work my way down to that quarter inch hash mark. I'm 
back in my office. I need to peel. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below in the comments box. Uh, I've linked all of the materials that I use in the description box, but make sure to let me know if you have any questions and definitely hit that subscribe button to see more DIY wedding related videos. See you soon.